Hi everyone, um, my name is Mario. I'm here from Berlin, but um, I've also been many years in Asia. And um, so I ran a company in Asia and uh, we had the difficulty that a lot of people still didn't know what is uh, open source and free software. So 2009, we started to organize a conference which was uh, Force Asia. And uh, the conference grew over years uh, and uh, we have uh, 3,000 people nowadays. And it's very difficult to manage um, uh, such a large conference for us. We don't have an uh, event system that can handle that. Here in Germany, we have FRAP, for example. You're using the event system of OpenSUSE, um, which is in Ruby, right? Which is like, we don't really have people who know Ruby, for example, even though it's a nice system. And also, we were looking for a lot more features. So um, I would like to take uh, talk a few minutes to, uh, to you about our system and uh, um, yeah, discuss maybe in the next few days with you how we can maybe plug that in into uh, a next cloud or how we can, for example, get data from you. You have a calendar now. I think this is an awesome direction um, uh, that you guys are taking. And uh, I was talking already here with uh, um, the team members um, that the uh, yeah the app direction and so on is really good. So what you see here is then, by the way, uh, the Open Tech Summit, which is also happening every year now here in Berlin because I came back. So I thought like, yeah, let's continue that. We don't have the Linux Conf anymore. So let me show you um, a bit what we have here. Ah, okay, so I have to, yeah, very difficult. So, um, nah. Okay, so this is uh, an event system and we're really trying to keep it uh, similar uh, to other uh, uh, market systems, like uh, let's say there's Event Nuke, there's Eventbrite, and so on. So um, this year is set up uh, directly from GitHub. Everyone who makes a pull request, then it's deployed um, um, as a test system, and it looks uh, very similar. Let me log in so you, to show you a few features. Yeah, here we go. In American. Okay. No. Yay. So, okay. So, what we have here, what is really interesting for you guys, um, is um, um, uh, how, to re uh, how to set up an event. So, it's pretty straightforward. You click on uh, create event. Once you're logged in, and um, you will see like uh, the, the usual uh, steps to that you can uh, of data that you have to enter. So uh, name, location. Um, let's say uh, we have the location Berlin, TU. Does it show up? I can't see it so well. Let's just choose Berlin, maybe. And uh, um, yeah, it comes directly on the map, and. Uh, you can enter some other data. You can select, for example, event images. Um, okay, I'm not going through that now because it's not my computer. <laughs> so I don't know, but like, uh, so, so you see a lot of features here. And um, yeah, they're not just beautiful, but actually they work already. We started this uh, last year, but this year we really got going with this because we want to use it for our next event, which is in March next year. So uh, we want to have all kinds of features. And um, um, our belief, and actually if you like, some of you guys work with Asia, right? And you know, like the question is always like, how can I earn an income? Because the parents pay a lot for the people's education, for the kids' education, and they always have this pressure. So uh, from the beginning on, we thought of the system um, uh, of, of a way to, for people also to earn an income. So we have the whole ticketing infrastructure as well. Pay tickets. So you can actually duplicate the model of, uh, like say, let's say Eventbrite. Uh, we have already PayPal uh, integrated, we have um, uh, Stripe integrated, this works already. Yeah, and uh, so if you want to set up uh, your own event, you can install this, but uh, the plan is also to release it in the next few months as a hosted solution. Uh, so we can um, also like uh, pay the developers. Okay, so I think I don't have so much time left, but I want to, it's really like tricky you guys, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I want to show you a bit like, if you're an administrator, we also have an admin section. 
um, which shows you all the events, which shows you how, how much sales are going on. Uh, here it's like it's just a test system, right? Um, what sessions you have, um, how are the permissions, you can give permissions to, for example, salespeople, so the whole thing uh, uh, with the sales also works. Um, you can uh, d decide with mes messages you want to send out, like let's say uh, some messages you want to go out as emails, some also as notifications. You can configure these messages, you can have um, uh, reports, you can set uh, the settings here. So it's, it's, it's configurable right away, so Facebook tokens, Google tokens, and maybe uh, Nextcloud tokens soon, yeah? <laughs> so uh, let's see what we can come up with in the next few days. Um, uh, you can uh, uh, tell like what, what are the ticket fees in different countries or in different regions. You can have uh, payment gateways. So all that works already, but of course there are also still a lot of small bugs. So okay, so this is what the usual thing what we have. So this is Eventbrite plus the organization module, which I can show you uh, later uh, if you like. So actually with this event uh, system, we can also organize events. So you can set up like uh, forms, um, that are sent out to, to, to speakers or to the interest in public and they can sign up with a form uh, right away and then they can tell, like basically what Frapp and Pentaborf did, yeah, where that you can actually have um, uh, different slots as well. I think like the, the OpenSUSE system also does that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this is one part, but as we know, nobody wants to maintain a server, right? And so the thing that we came up with is that actually you can export the whole thing. Let's see if they can. You can export the whole thing and for example generate an Android app or you can generate a static website that you can upload to your GitHub pages and you never have to take care about your schedule again. Yeah, so um, this is something that I really like because after an event is finished, I don't want to take care of the website ever again. Yeah, so we developed this format um, that is also one of the repositories that is generated and then you can uh, generate uh, from, from this, uh, um, like similar to uh, XML, but it's a JSON format with a lot of uh, different JSON files inside. It's a zip file that you can then upload. And of course, this is a demo, so it means it doesn't work right now. <laughs> I, I, I clicked on the generate app, right? So it should be working, but ah, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Good, well, I can show it to you later. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yes, so guests can print their tickets. This is a feature that we're doing uh, at the moment with a QR code. So you also have a QR code and we also have um, an organizer app. So basically like, uh, for example, you could like also give like uh, co-organizers or moderators or like just like some staff people uh, the app and they can scan in people at the entrance. This was very important for me. And like uh, I'm sad that, uh, for example, Event Nook is a company that we used to use. Um, they don't have this app. They just have iOS and things like that. And I even told like, so they were always like some small features that other uh, um, uh, event systems didn't have. And uh, so even if I offered, even they were closed source and we offered them, we would program an Android app for them, they said they don't want that. So actually I'm waiting for this for several years. It's not like a big thing that I think, like, okay, we go to the moon, but it's something that we really need, yeah? And also these organizer features that I'm happy to show you guys, uh, uh, like, so, so, you know, like, speakers always ask, oh, uh, you didn't send me your slides, will you have slides, yeah, and it's like a, a lot of back and forth communications, like, the, uh, I don't like my photo on the website, can I change it, yeah, and a lot of these things that just take a lot of time, and for example, in our conference, we would save, like, maybe nearly two people's time, uh, like, work time with this uh, event system, yeah, and yeah, I think it's valid, so everyone can set it up, uh, him or herself, or you can just use the hosted service in future. Yeah, so that's the that's thing. And also like we're looking for people who, are, like, who have ideas, who want to code with us together. We have a contest um, which is uh, uh, taking place soon. Oh my God, this is really tricky. 
No, I, I, I'm going to show you this later. <laughs> yeah. So contest is a cold heat contest, and um, so three people who, who contribute to this project and the three top people um, who contribute to this project in the next few months um, can fly to to our conference um, in March in Asia in Singapore. So we will release that soon. It's like in the heat of the cold. That's our contest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, um, so this is open source, so we want to have a plug, uh, like a, a way so you can plug in, for example, the fault supervisor for Germany. I'm amazed that, if, for example, Eventbrite is not doing that. It's a big company, they should have the resources. Germany is a big market, right? So, so we don't have that, but uh, it's done in a way that you can do that. So because we actually need to, to, to start to run the service in the public. This is just like deployed from, from directly from GitHub at the moment. So the service will, the name that we found there where the, uh, uh, the URL is still available is event yay. So it's like really because at our events, people always like yay and waving and everyone's happy, right? So, so it's eventyay.com uh, um, and we'll release it soon. Um, so we're gonna definitely use it next year in March. Yeah, okay. Thank you.